Capricorns, tap in. We are officially in Aquarius season. This Mercury retrograde is on like Donkey Kong. And when I split the deck in the middle, I decided to take those two cards as our subject line. Because with this Eight of Cups, which has to do with walking away from people, places, and things that are no longer serving you, Capricorn family. And this Knight of Wands is player energy. This snake coming out, talking about how they're an angel now, how they've changed. Let's see if you can take if you should be taking this person back. Mercury retrograde. Check out the Mercury retrograde reading that I did for your sign, your sun, moon, and rising as well. Oh, we got something flying out. And that'll give you a deeper insight as to what is getting ready to happen during this retrograde. But you got somebody coming back, coming out of the woodwork here, slithering on back, talking about how they've changed, how things are different. And you need to know if you need to take this person back. We have the judgment card here. That's in the second position. What's this that fell on the floor? And the justice card. Mm -mm -mm. Is it a thug? Somebody with some legal issues here or is it a lack of balance here? They're going through a judgment moment, maybe dealing with their karma and coming back around. Capricorn, drop this person's sign in the comment section. Don't forget to let me know where you are watching from. Drop your flag, your city, and or your state. The king of pentacles, now the four of swords in the reverse. Oh, they took a break on you. Maybe because they were being stubborn. Could be a Taurus that you were dealing with here with this bull figure here in this justice card. Taurus energy in this King of Pentacles. Air energy with this Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, we are in the season of Aquarius. Oh, and some secrets with this High Priestess here. And in this High Priestess, let me hold this up. You see this broken sword? Now, swords have to do with ideas, information, and communication here. We also see her holding this, sc this scroll inside I and somebody. Now, when I see this, this always gives me Scorpio energy. This has to do with using your intuition here and some secrets coming out. You could be telling me that this person is coming on back with this player energy here since the Knight of Wands is already here. And it's this third party that's getting ready to either expose them with this judgment card, revelations, their skeletons coming out of the closet here. Also them coming back, asking for your forgiveness, trying to bring balance back to the situation or find some balance, knowing that you, Capricorn, the queen of pentacles, um, are the most solid and stable person that they were dealing with. Mm. Now they're wanting to come on back. Now they're buzzing your apartment door, trying to climb those, climb, take the stairs back home. Mm-hmm. Clarifying this Eight of Cups and this Knight of Wands energy is the Two of Wands here in the reverse. This person is trying to put that thing back in reverse and come on back. But do you want this? More of this Taurus energy here with this person riding this bull. Or maybe it's the BS that they're bringing back here. Because a snake only sheds its skin to become a bigger snake. They may be coming in to play the same old games, but acting like they're doing something different here. With this justice card, Libra energy. We have Scorpio here. We have Taurus here. We have water energy with this Eight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Leo energy here with the Knight of Wands. This person is coming back to play more games. They might have been messing around with somebody else and they're no longer serving them anymore. They're not getting getting anything from them. This may be somebody who is a user here. And it could be that this third party is side eyeing them, watching them from a distance, waiting to bring the receipts, waiting to show some screenshots here, waiting to put something out on the internet. You have the six of swords in the reverse, moving on to calmer waters here. But we see that this person is cloaked in black, hiding. Some secrets, things not being said when I see swords in the downward position like this. These are, these are either lies, definitely could be somebody lying, or these are omissions, things that somebody is not saying here. And with this air energy right next to each other here, we know that this has to do with something that somebody is not saying here, something that somebody is trying to keep covered up, but know that whatever was being done in the dark is coming out into the light here. And what, what I really see in this card is somebody with the surgery here, and it could be this third party or this other person, this jealous party could also be a friend, quote unquote, could be just a messy individual that is coming, that feels like their heart was ripped out when this person chose somebody else or when this person decided to come back to you or wasn't as committed to them as they thought they should be. Leo energy coming out here with the strength card in the reverse, which if this is strength in the upright, this is weakness in the reverse. This is somebody also maybe not being able to 
control their lusts, being all out in these streets here, jumping from house to house, apartment to apartment, mm, 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 playing these games. But again, what, what happens in the dark will come to the light. Know that. This person is trying to avoid their karma or avoid the consequences of their actions, and that is not going to happen here. With this justice card next to the judgment card, both of these court going to court getting some type of justice and a judgment being made maybe you making a final judgment call on this and using your intuition if there is not a third party involved here you already know what this person is about and it may be the way that this person even comes back to you acting like an angel but maybe not acknowledging the things from the past that caused you to break up or to not be in communication any longer being stubborn here with this knight of pentacles and we see the fool here in the reverse this person was acting like a damn fool or you would be a fool to take them back. Maybe they even hit you up on Snapchat when I see this with that um, flower halo or what is that? Flower crown on this person's head. And again, this judgment card, these two 20s, these X's, these X's all over this person running away from this, acting like this isn't happening here or trying to avoid. Oh, dang, we just knocking the cards all over the place. Or let's turn this over. Aquarius season. A lack of wish fulfillment here in our energy here with the Queen of Pentacles. We're going to put those right on here. Actually, I'll put this here because we're going to keep both of those. And underneath that, we see the Five of Wands, which is chaos, conflict, and confusion here, competition. So while this person is acting like they've shed this shady skin, they're no longer a snake, they're covering up their snake tail. And you know, Capricorn, that you have to keep one eye on this person and one eye where you're, where you're going with them. You know that there's other people here in the background. They may even be telling you, you can call so-and-so and they'll tell you what happened here because you don't believe this person. There's been a lot of lies. Okay. Okay, now, cards speaking to us during this retrograde, bringing all these exes back. Now, you could be telling me that this person's tried to manifest a second opportunity with you. You could be telling me that you wanted a second opportunity with this person and the universe is giving you that to test you to see if you really want to entertain this again. Because this person is lying here with the Six of Swords. Or they're playing the same old games. Not being totally upfront and forthcoming with what their intentions are. What's going on here? Could be this third party watching, waiting to make, create a mess here. Or you, you, again, knowing what to do here. Your intuition telling you that everything is upside down with this person. All of these are upside down. All of this bottom row to clarify. There's a lack of wish fulfillment here. And you this... This to me feels like somebody who's a user, especially with this eight of cups, walking away from people, places, and things that are no longer serving them. They like to be served. Everything is all about them. Going from person to person here, this player energy here with this knight of wands. Again, we know this is somebody who likes to jump in bed with people very quick and they may be very good in bed, hoping that that allows them to stay in your good graces or for you to remember that, or maybe they can put it on you one last time and come on home. But with this Three of Swords, which is a betrayal of the heart, you are not sure. The vulnerability here with this Aquarius energy and this person being naked and this man being naked here with this Three of Swords. Now, you could be telling me what goes around comes around with this judgment moment that this person is going through. This is a period of trial and test for them, just like it is for you. Are you going to take this person back that hurt you? Are you going to take this person back that plays these games with this emotional chemistry? These are emotional games here with this chemistry here in the background. This is how I feel. Is that true? Then why have you created all this mess? Why did you leave me high and dry and go somewhere else? Or maybe they didn't choose somebody else over you, but they made it seem that way. They didn't give you an explanation as to why they were leaving here, or they thought that they could ghost you and then just walk right back into your life here. This fool energy, this immature energy, wanting to start something new with you and being very stubborn. They're still set in their ways. This is not somebody who has changed here. We have the lovers in reverse. Capricorn, we know that we are represented by the devil card, which has to do with addictions, obsessions, third party situations, toxic energy. The lovers in reverse reminds me of that. It was a soulmate connection that maybe has turned karmic to teach somebody a lesson. Again, somebody's karma coming out here, being exposed. Their bad decisions here. We have the six of air, Gemini energy here. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, a Scorpio. An Aries here, a um, Leo, an Aquarius, could be another Capricorn, could be a Taurus. But somebody's piss poor choices are coming back to haunt them here. And they're hoping that you won't turn them away. 
they're hoping that you still have feelings for them with this three of swords, lover's energy right underneath that. They're hoping that they can just come on back and everything will go back to normal after ghosting you. After ghosting you and ghosting somebody else here with the seven of swords. Because now you can see this person's person taking this mask off because they're thirsty. <laughs> and that's the snake shedding his skin, acting like an angel here. Now you see how this person was acting behind your back with somebody else. Or now you get the full picture as to what this person is really like here. Seeing them for the snake that they are. Can I move my light a little bit? Yes, that's a little bit better. Um, oh yes, they're back after ghosting you. This is a karmic situation for some of you. You might have thought that this person was your soulmate. You may have thought that this person was your wish fulfillment at one point in time here. And now they're trying to manifest a second opportunity with you because you are the most solid and stable person in the deck with this queen of pentacles energy here. They know that. But this is also a warning for you to get your wish fulfillment. You need to invest in yourself and do what is best for you first. You have all this abundance around you. You could be finding somebody who is going to be your person. My reminder to work out, excuse me. To be your person that you're ready to invest in. But with this queen of pentacles in the reverse, you need to invest this pentacle that you would give to somebody else with com for a commitment into yourself right now. Doing what is best for you. Because this person is coming here asking for you to take them back bringing you flowers, bringing you candy, hitting you up, playing your songs, sending your songs to you via, you know, di um, direct message, DMs, um, Snapchat, text messages here. They're very cowardly. We see that with the lion here and the seven of swords, even in that air energy card. We see that with this strength card here in the reverse, being very cowardly, being very weak. We see that weakness here and this king of wands in the reverse, playing these games, feeling maybe defeated here by what they're going through. Maybe it's this third party. Maybe it's, again, their karma, what, what they were doing in the dark, catching up with them, sending you these love messages. This person is going to definitely reach out through, to you electronically through text messages and or social media. But there's an emotional distance between the two of you. Now, that could be because of you, Capricorn, because you know once bitten, twice shy, with this Knight of Wands energy here, because maybe you needed to walk away because this situation was no longer serving you. Maybe you realized that this person was toxic, chaotic, causing a lot of, maybe, and it could have had to do with third parties. It could have been their messy family members. Could not just, it could be more than just another lover. It could be messy family, could be messy friends, or could be one or the other. But this is a situation that was supposed to teach you a lesson. And during this retrograde, it is testing you to see if you have learned the lesson. Because this person has not. And if you and if you entertain this, you're going to be sucked into this situation that they're in. Their thirst is catching up to them. I need to write that down. Give me just a second. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's going to be the title. Their thirst is catching up to them. And they're hoping that they can build a bridge to you, back to you, to get into the same situation, the cyclical situation of when it's good, it's good, but when it's bad, it's terrible. Ghosting, being cowardly, not wanting to say certain things, but then they just want to hit you up all casual, like everything's all good here. You could also be telling me that it is a third party situation with the lovers in the reverse and this justice card. Maybe they're going through a divorce. Maybe that's what they're telling you. Maybe you're divorcing this person. They're acting like they want to come back here, but love don't live here anymore with this Ace, I was going to say Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups here in the reverse. This is somebody coming back with an empty love offer. They just don't want to be alone. It has nothing to do with their feelings for you. And that's not to say that they don't have feelings for you, but they're one-sided. It has to do with what you can do for this person as opposed to them actually having genuine love and affection towards you. This person may not even know how to do that because they're so selfish and self-centered. Everything is all about them. And just this low vibrational activity here with somebody slithering and being very low to the ground here, you know that you got to watch this person, the chariot here in the reverse. Two sevens right next to each other. Two sixes right next to each other. Which is a 12. The lovers here and the six of swords. 12. Pisces energy, the hangman. Letting go. 
letting things go. Also clarity and a change of perspective. You see in this person for who they really are, this mask flipping. The seven and the seven is the 14, that temperance energy, which speaks to balance and harmony. There's a lack of balance here or balance is being restored by this judgment moment. They could be going through a tower moment, okay? Or getting ready to. But this 14, when I see the um, temperance card in the reverse, that speaks to somebody being half in and half out. Again, everything is all about them. If they don't get what they want, they're just as ready to leave and start something new with somebody else as they are to start something new with you and try to move on from somebody else here. You need to pay attention. What your gut is telling you about this person is absolutely correct. And you know that. You know before you click on this video what you should do or who you're dealing with here. The King of Cups which speaks to somebody being a floater. One day they're here, one day they're there. And these opposite kings letting me know that there is a third party situation going on here. Other lovers, whenever you see multiple queens or whenever I see multiple queens or multiple kings, it's third party situations. So while this person is very attractive here, whether they are male or female with this king of wands, they know exactly what to say here. They're very smooth with their words, coming in to tell you exactly what you wanna hear. With this King of Cups, this is also somebody that can go tit for tat with you, cup in one hand, rock in the other. Mm. They may even like to throw stones and hide their hands, starting arguments, being very emotionally unstable, emotionally manipulative here with this King of Cups. Cowardly, emotionally manipulative. You need to be very careful. You already know who you're dealing with here. Using your intuition, these love messages telling you what you want to hear. And because they're breadcrumbing you, playing these games, the Knight of Pentacles is the most solid and stable knight in the deck, but it is the most slow moving. So this person has not changed. No, no, no. They're breadcrumbing you. And just like you need to use your intuition, you need not forget what they did in the past. You need not forget what they said in the past. This person is trying to do the bare minimum to get things moving forward with you because they're not going to change. And even if they do change, it's going to be very slow. It's almost like you're not even going to be able to see the progress. One step forward, 10 steps back with this person. Again, this person covered up, wearing a mask here, water energy here with the seven of cups, courting somebody else here in the background. This having to do with many options to choose from, but there being illusion and deception at play. Yes, you're Capricorns, you already know that. You can't trust this person, that something's not right. And now we have three sevens right next to each other. Somebody Google that and drop that in the comment section, please. 777, the angel number. And another seven. All the sevens are almost here in the building. We just don't have the seven of wands. The seven of pentacles has to do with looking at your long-term goals, Capricorn. We're all about goals and exceeding our goals. This person is misaligned with you because they're playing these stupid games, keeping you in these third-party situations, lacking balance. And now that they're going through this tower moment, trying to avoid this karma, trying to evo avoid getting exposed here, because it's this third party that's getting ready to shout them out. It's this third party that's going to post something on the internet that's getting ready to out this person, that's getting ready to do the absolute most to make sure that everybody sees them with their mask down, to show that the, to expose how thirsty they are here. See, that thirst will get you. The moon, Pisces energy. This having to do with what was being done in the dark, coming out into the light here. Somebody's hidden motives somebody's hidden feelings here, other people here in the background. You need to be careful. Because while this person's talking about how they love you, how they miss you, all these things, they have a hidden agenda. And again, right being right above these love messages and this breadcrumbing here, you've been through this before. The sun and the moon right next to each other, what is being done in the dark or what has been done in the dark is getting ready to come out into the light here. And it may be even through these love messages, them accidentally sending you a love message that was meant for somebody else, dropping somebody else's name in a text message or a Snapchat. This third party is not going to let them get away with doing whatever it is that they were doing with them. Because they were making offers of commitment to this person and they were playing games, making offers of commitment to this third party here, this high priestess that's got the receipts. That Whitney Houston, show me the receipts. Crack is whack. That, this person is whack. 
This is this immature commitments, immature energy here, talking about love, talking about commitments, how they feel about you, but they ain't seen you in a year. They haven't seen you in months. Playing these games, you can't play with everybody. And this high priestess is getting ready to let that be known. The magician here, the emperor here in the reverse underneath that, and this four of pentacles, that's what this person was doing here. And that's what this person is getting ready to be exposed for doing. It's not just you. It's many people being manipulative and deceptive here. They're very attractive and know what to say here. So they have all these tools to be successful in any given situation, but they choose this manipulation and deception here. They're very controlling and manipulative. We see that controlling energy here with the emperor in the reverse. Aries, Taurus energy. Um, Gemini energy here with the uh, magician manifesting a situation here and keeping things close to their chest, talking about starting these solid commitments with somebody. My, my reminder to drink, excuse me. And again, the thirst, the thirst. There it is. This person being thirsty and messy, somebody ain't having it. This queen of wands, the queen of wands is somebody who is also very attractive, very on it, um, very focused on themselves and what they have going on here. And notice that her wand has the snake all around it. Now, you could be telling me, Capricorn, that you are indeed this high priestess. Ooh. That you got this snake wrapped around your pole. That you have control of the situation. And it is you that is getting ready to expose somebody. That's being controlling or manipulative, deceptive. Keeping things close to their chest. Talking about commitments, but not following through. Playing these games. Because this Queen of Wands is also a mistress card. So this, again, is speaking to that third party that is angry. Watching somebody. Look at how intently she's watching somebody. And don't this look like Sister Patterson? New York's mom from Flavor of Love? That's what I always think when I see this. But, uh, oh yes, this is somebody who is going to make sure that their wrath is felt. Because this person's lying, betrayals, deception, making things up here. We see this Ace of Swords. The sword isn't really made here. Making up a reason to reach out to you. Telling all these lies, making these false commitments, breadcrumbing somebody. Just because they're bored here with this Four of Cups, somebody is not taking it. The Temperance card in the reverse, we already spoke about this. They're half in, half out. Their actions with this wand in the reverse don't match their words. Deceptions, lies, omissions here. And this is somebody who's getting ready to betray you. That Back to that Ace of, back to this Ace of Swords, this in the reverse is a betrayal here. They know exactly what they're going to do. Somebody can't betray you that's not close to you. Capricorn. Drop this person's sign down in the comment section. Let me know where you're watching from. Check out your sun, moon, and rising video as well as this person's. I'm trying to get all the earth signs, all of the air signs, and the fire signs today. Hopefully we can get to water signs this evening. But um, check out your sign, sun, moon, and rising. Check out their readings as well. Find me on Instagram. All that information is down in the description box. Check out your Mer Mercury retrograde reading. And I'll be checking in on you soon, earth sign family. Keep it real, Capricorns.